Hello and welcome to Study in Slovakia. Today we have a very special guest, my neighbor and my close friend Ido. He's from Israel and we know each other like about a year now and it's like uh, he's an amazing guy. And today we finally got a chance to interview him, get his perspective, compare Israel and Slovakia education system and all that. So thank you Ido firstly for coming to the video, joining the video. For sure, glad to be here. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, we have a lot of inside jokes as well, so we will be laughing in the video in between, so <laughs> don't get us wrong. <laughs> we have those like roommate neighbor jokes, you know. <laughs> anyway, so, uh, you know, uh, introduce yourself to our uh, viewers, like uh, where you come from, what's your background, and so on. Uh, okay, so my name is Ido, I'm from Israel. Uh, I studied uh, actually psychology and cognitive science in Israel as a bachelor um, and then uh, I guess we will get to that but uh, for my masters I decided to come to Kosice, Slovakia uh, to UPJS and uh, study clinical psychology All right. uh, after a lot of uh, after a lot of thought of uh, what what should my master be and which direction should I go, okay. I decided on that. But it's like your well thought plan to get into like masters of psychology, right? Uh, I always wanted this door to be open, but okay. I have uh, one side of me which is more technological and one side which is more like therapy. All right. Uh, so I always looked at both of them. Maybe one day I will even combine them, but wow. for now I want to go be a therapist. This is very interesting thing because uh, just about you know that he actually belongs to an IT background and uh, he was actually working as Python developer, I think data scientist as well, like data science, Python data analysis and so on. And I was like wondering how did he come from like an IT background and change it to psychology. So and he has some amazing ambitious plans about implementing technology. Um, psychedelics in uh, psychology so we'll be getting in details about it so if you're interested in any of that so please stick to the video so uh, uh, you know first questions first how did you find Slovakia did you firstly like did you know a country like a uh, country exists Slovakia or did you know it's Czechoslovakia or something yeah I knew those like Slovenia Slovakia not sure which is which uh, not more than that okay uh, and I didn't really uh, plan on going to study abroad. It was always a dream. Right. It was always in the back of my head. Mm -hmm. Of my head, uh, but I, it was not my plan. Uh, but I was about to finish my bachelor, and then I started wondering what else is there because in Israel I know the programs. They all sound pretty much the same, uh, and I started wondering what else is there. Uh, right. So I like in the most primitive way just. Googled uh, psychology Europe, like very, very general, entered like the first result. Uh, and apparently there are some Israeli companies uh, that what they do is, is uh, help stu Israeli students get in uh, international programs because Israel has a very strict uh, demand on uh, what degree you need to get if you want to be a therapist, if you know, want to be a doctor, if you want to be in a veterancy. Uh, so they have their demands uh, and not every university suits this demand. So there are some companies that help you, help Israelis find degrees that suit this demand. Uh, so I, I entered one of those and uh, Slovakia was uh, in the... So they give you the choice for Slovakia, something like yeah, that? Yeah, exactly. Right. They, they, they are actually in contact with uh, UPJS, uh, Aha, the university okay. here. Uh, you use um, University of Pavel Joseph Safarika, that's like based in Košice, one of the main general universities which has the medical faculty as well as the general sciences, natural sciences and uh, psychology. So the university has a lot of programs. By the way, all the uh, programs and all the details will be in included in the description. So uh, check out the links as well. Uh, by the way, you know, you know, like the first time, uh, like I came to know that I'm going to Slovakia, and I told like you know all my neighbors and everyone, and everyone was like, "Is it Czechoslovakia?" <laughs> and I was like, "No, that's no more a country. That was like <laughs> '90s 
it's uh, like it's over now it's Slovakia and Czech Republic so yeah and then I come here and I see like absolutely something new and experience something new did you expect something like um, from Slovakia to be like for example this uh, super modern place in the European Union and all this or did you expect it like somewhere I don't know in Eastern Europe or something like that <laughs> so actually in a, in a weird way I was I was here five years ago oh. uh, but I was here with friends uh, trekking the Tatra Mountains, All right. uh, which is, by the way, so amazing. It's one of the best treks I ever had. Wow. Uh, so when I when I googled it and saw Slovakia has a university, I was like, is this like the this uh, nowhere place, like the Tatra <laughs> Mountains? Is this where I'm going to study? Like I had a really good memory of this place, but I was mainly in the mountains, so I, I didn't remember like having a really modern uh, city over ah, here. But when you came here, it was like some surprise for you, yes. was it? Yeah, so, so when I actually landed in Košice and started to get to know like the old city, this area, the, the restaurant area, the pub area, and uh, like I started Googling some of my hobbies uh, I, I used to do in Israel, I thought I will have to give them up because I didn't know there will be such a community uh, surrounding this. Mm -hmm. uh, it includes like uh, I dance salsa, bachata, uh, zouk, all these kind of uh, Latin uh, dancers and I did not expect East of Slovakia to have such a big community of this uh, so this was, this was a really really nice surprise. That's nice, so he's actually also my salsa teacher. <laughs> um, yeah, he gives free classes many times of volunteering. You know? <laughs> so uh, yeah, like uh, he's uh, very good with dancing and very active with social uh, work as well. Which takes me to my next point: uh, How is like a daily life as a psychology student, international psychology student, look like in Slovakia? And so actually, it's it's really chill. Uh, it's really uh, it's really nice and and quite like quiet in a good way. Uh, when we study in Israel, we are like 50% students and 50% uh, doing like uh, practicum, the, the more uh, uh, practical uh, practice. Okay. Uh, and when we come here, we divide it into like two years of uh, masters here, and then we do one year of uh, this practice uh, in Israel. So uh, this leaves us with a lot of free time here. Uh, all right. which we can use for but all this other stuff. What is this exactly? Two years and uh, one year of practice, what is that exactly? So, in order to be a therapist, you have to have like experience in the field, not only right. the theory and the, you know, Freud and the, all these yeah. uh, kind of uh, really high level theories. Uh, it's not enough to actually be a therapist. You need to also go to the field, go to the hospitals, go to the clinic departments, uh, see the people, see how mental disease look, Mm -hmm. uh, and start uh, the therapy uh, like it really is. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, understood. And this you will be doing in Israel or in uh, yeah. so in Israel? Yeah. So this I will uh, be doing in Israel uh, for one year. Uh, okay. And then I can actually. And then start. you can practice like yeah. professionally. Exactly. Understood. Understood. That sounds interesting. Uh, Ido, uh, what about like Slovaks? Do you like Slovaks? Do you find them friendly? Did they find you friendly? <laughs> How fast did you make friends here and so on? I think actually Slovaks are, they're, someone told me they're like a coconut, like they're, they're really hard from the outside, but when you get inside, <laughs> right. they're liquid. No, they're sweet. <laughs> All uh, right. <laughs> I was waiting for it. Okay. It's yeah, good. Yeah, it's yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. It's good. <laughs> but sometimes they really feel hard from the outside. Like if you, if you, the Israeli mentality is like we, we change everything. Nothing. We don't really believe in rules. We we do whatever we think is right. Uh, and here everything is by a system. Uh, yeah. So like even the light, the smallest thing like you you order a burger in a restaurant and you don't want it with fries. You want it with salad. Yep. Like here the the waiter will look at you like how how can I. How can I do that? That's impossible. <laughs> right. And in Israel, it, no one will, will even doubt that. Uh, so the, the mentality system, is actually different. How was your system like building friends? Or did you, how did you find Slovak friends in the first place? Or even international friends apart from your class? Yeah, so international was actually much easier than I expected. Uh, okay. There is both uh, Erasmus plan here, which for whom doesn't know, it's like 
the international uh, uh, student exchange throughout Europe, a very good program that you can actually uh, study in multiple universities throughout Europe and every university has this bilateral. You can go from one university, study a semester in another university, come back to your home university, something like this. Please continue. Yeah, exactly. So. Uh, there are actually a lot of students here in the city. The, the city sometimes feels like uh, really uh, full of students uh, and international students yes. and Slovak students uh, and I really liked the, the concept of it so I even joined the, the ESN which is like the organization Rasmus that, Students Network, yeah. Yeah, uh, so through that I got to know some people, I got to know you just because we share, we share a wall and whenever I uh, stop the the warm water. Yes. Uh, uh, Roy's, yeah. Roy's house is freezing. Uh, <laughs> Whenever I stop my Wi-Fi, you <laughs> are on the internet. Yeah, he controls the internet. I control the heat. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but uh, but we have coexistence with a shared world. Yeah. Uh, so I got to know you. Uh, I get. I have a lot of uh, Israelis. Uh, in my uh, program. Yeah, how is the community of Israelis in Koshitsa? Wow, it's so big. It's like weirdly big. Uh, like, because it's so hard to get, especially into medicine in Israel, Okay. a lot of Israelis choose to come here and okay. to study here. Uh, and is this degree valid in uh, like uh, Israel? Yeah, it's one of the few that are valid in Israel. Uh, okay. So there is like a really big uh, Jewish community here. There is a really big Israeli community here. Um, and we just today celebrated the uh, Israeli Independence Day. Oh, uh, happy so Independence Day. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> 75 years. Wow, nice. Yeah, it's actually older than Slovakia. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, it is. It is wow. <laughs> so uh, like we, had, 40s, yeah. we had like an Israeli uh, barbecue thing. Uh, and we, we celebrate holidays together and uh, there is a nice synagogue. Uh, so there's a really cool community. That's really nice. And these uh, all students uh, generally go through these agencies, right? Like to find the programs and... Yeah, it just saves you the bureaucracy. Like, okay. uh, uh, we, there's someone that uh, makes us residents and there's someone that signs up for the university. Yeah, because studying in Slovakia now is also starting uh, with Israeli students to uh, do all of their paperwork, help them with uh, different universities around Slovakia and around Europe in general. So hopefully that is where that will be also like a super helpful thing because you know studying Slovakia is bringing in a lot of students from other countries as well, especially like India, Asia, and so on. So Israel would be like great to like have Israeli students from studying Slovakia. <laughs> but uh, thanks, uh, you know, uh, for the insight. Uh, what's like the fee structure generally in um, compared to Israel or compared to even other countries like the U.S. or something? If you want to study psychology, masters. Mm -hmm. Well, compared to Israel, everything looks cheap. Uh, really? But yeah, I think Israel is actually one of the most expensive countries in the world. How much do you pay as fees over here in, uh, for, to study psychology? Um, to study psychology, it's around, I, I converted to Euro. Uh, it's around uh, two and a half, maybe 3,000 uh, 3, euros, euros per a year. year. Yes. So it's a two year degree, so 6,000 euros. Yeah. Okay. Uh, in this area, it's kind of the same uh, in Israel because the Israeli government uh, uh, pay for some of it uh, but living here is so just feels so much cheaper uh, really yeah 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 compared to you, Israel how much do you spend like in a month for your living expenses so i spend around 600 euro for apartment and bills and maybe 600 more for all the other stuff yeah, yeah and, uh, I, and I live uh, super luxury. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. Live because is uh, because Ido has like this super amazing, super big house. <laughs> we are sitting over there right now. And <laughs> it is true. It is true. <laughs> I mean, like uh, the so it depends like how much you want to save on your like uh, yeah. um, accommodation. You can save if you're going for a shared room or so on. But yeah, if you want like a luxurious, good apartment, that is also possible. Yeah, I, I live alone in the middle of the of the. City yeah. and I go to like I travel. I go to skiing uh, here. I travel, uh, so that that costs money. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what uh, you mentioned skiing. Uh, what other uh, social activities do you have here to do in Koshets or around like uh, during weekends? What are you doing generally? Uh, so now it's April. So now it's finally like uh, sunny and and really nice. So I'm I'm traveling a lot. I I just been to uh, Sivets uh, Mountain, which is amazing. 
Uh, this weekend I'm, I'm going to Budapest, it's like a three hour uh, bus drive. Uh, wow. So I go to Budapest uh, with two friends. Uh, like I wanna, I wanna take advantage of this uh, lovely spring to, to just uh, hike a lot, travel a lot. Uh, I've been to Tatra, uh, to ski, to Poland, uh, Krakow. It's like for me, it's really nice that you can take a bus outside of your country. It's like not not uh, possible in Israel at all because oh, yeah. for us, if you <laughs> want to go to another country, you need to pay a lot of money for uh, for a plane. Uh, so I I, mean, I love it. Yeah. Yeah, understandable because in the entire because with the uh, if you stay in Slovakia with the Slovakian residence uh, card, you can actually travel throughout Europe, throughout the Schengen zone, so and also um, most of the countries. So even like Switzerland and all. So without a visa, and you can enjoy travel. So it's a good time to explore, you know, because you build networks, you build um, this friendship throughout um, different communities, different groups. So uh, one thing I find very interesting that Ido does is. Uh, he uh, does scout surfing uh, at his home. So people from around Europe, they come uh, to his home. He has friends, they stay over for a day or two. He learns some cultures, and maybe it makes some lifelong friends as well. <laughs> so do you want to say something to our viewers about couch surfing in general? Well, I, I really like it. You go as well for couch surfing, right? To other countries? Uh, I, I did it maybe like once, uh, South uh, uh, America. But, uh, but the, the really nice thing about it is just you get random people from all over the world, uh, different mentalities, and everybody brings something else. Uh, I had some uh, uh, Portuguese guy, he was uh, cooking uh, some traditional food. Uh, I got to, to know this like that, and uh, it's, it, uh, it's really nice. You just meet people really different from you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is amazing. Like if you're going for Erasmus, these are the ways to increase and expand your network. If you're going for Erasmus, if you're joining ES and meeting with internationals, if you're doing couch surfing, you can actually expand the network. And because you're an international from outside of Europe, generally you need this network later on, you know, to build friendship, to feel like happy in order even to stay here. You know, otherwise every time you're going to miss your home, that's like the common case. But if you have good friends, if you have good time, you're going to enjoy staying. Yeah. Yeah, um, you know, some common suggestions. First of all, would you recommend some student now watching this video from Israel or any of uh, any country to come here and study uh, psychology? Yeah, for sure. Like the, I did not expect the city to be so uh, full of, of uh, opportunities uh, and of life. I, I really enjoy it. Uh, I think maybe it's because there are so many students here, but yeah. There is like a uh, nightlife here, uh, like every hobby you have, probably some people are also interested in that hobby in here. Uh, I find myself go dancing like uh, salsa bachata zouk, uh, like maybe two or three times a week. And also I started, uh, as you mentioned, I started uh, my own uh, little salsa group, uh, <laughs> just for friends, for free, uh, to, to do some cool stuff. And so I really, I really recommend it. That's, that's really nice. So it is the education as well as the social life. Yeah. So it's an experience. Uh, either do you plan to stay here in Slovakia upon graduation and what's the general trend with the Israeli students? They want to stay here or go to their country, like go back to Israel or somewhere else? So for specifically for us psychology students, we need to go back to do, my, to do our practice uh, for one year in Israel to, to actually get a diploma. Is it mandatory to do that? Uh, to, to be independent and to be a therapist, yeah, it's okay. mandatory. Um, but uh, so, so most of us actually go back to Israel. Uh, but for the med students, it's not necessarily the case. Uh, med okay. students are here for seven years. They study the language, they study, they, they know this place really well. Uh, and a lot of them choose to, to just stay here or maybe yeah. uh, stay in Europe. Yeah, six years, I guess, like, yeah, yeah, six years, yeah, so, yeah, medical students actually uh, have the degree which is valid throughout Europe as well as some other parts of the world as well, so they just, uh, like, throughout Europe, they go and, you know, just start practicing, just l learn the language as well because it's important for medicine, I think for uh, psychology as well because you need to communicate with your yeah. uh, language is a really patients, important thing. Yeah. yeah. Um, you don't give us some idea about your this future plans because this is very interesting for many of our viewers about this 
psychedelics with psychology how is it going to be because sometimes i see him like researching about um psychedelic <laughs> drugs with like music with like therapy and it's like wow so give us some yeah. insight about it well this like i think two worlds are really going to to be implemented into therapy one of them is technology that we mentioned uh, for example vr which uh, i have a headset here which also really interests me. I, I use my free time here also to, to learn how to develop uh, in VR, uh, virtual reality, uh, and the two can be combined. And the other one is a psychedelic field. Uh, like the, the last uh, two decades maybe are, are really, uh, it's really promising uh, field, the uh, psychedelic uh, inside of treatment. Um, and I, I believe that uh, what happened to, to example, weed, cannabis, uh, in the USA and in Europe will also happen to other kind of uh, psychedelic drugs if you uh, take them responsibly inside of uh, in, in a therapy environment they could really do wonders uh, so I really want to pursue this uh, topic that's very interesting if you have uh, if you're planning something like this uh, to research about if you're curious about this field uh, do contact Ido uh, so yeah, uh, get in touch with him once you're coming to Slovakia, obviously you'll be going to the psychology faculty, so uh, get in touch with him, maybe you guys do some amazing research for the next generation. And Ido, do you have any uh, final comments, suggestions for students coming here to be careful about or in general something? I think you should just really be open-minded. Uh, when I only got here, it was kind of lonely, it was kind of hard, I didn't know many people, I was like alone in a foreign country uh, but I really stayed open-minded uh, to meet uh, people that are different than me to uh, pursue stuff that are new to me uh, and to really give this uh, city a chance uh, and that, yep. that really was wonderful. That is appreciable also about you that because when we met I think you came about a year back so like that is the same time when we met. The interesting thing is like uh, Ido is so open to like new cultures, new things, trying new things, you know, everything he is open to and he is willing to and giving a smile to try it. Even if it is a good experience or it turns out to be a bad, but he's giving it a try. So yeah, do try things, you know, when you're coming abroad, explore different opportunities. Um, in terms of career, in terms of personal life, in terms of social activities, friends, network, everything. Thank you, uh, thank you Ido uh, for all your insights. Uh, thank you for sharing your experience about Slovakia uh, and thank you for watching our video. Hope you liked it. Give it a thumbs up. Uh, comment how was your experience coming to Slovakia or what are your plans uh, once you're coming to Slovakia, how you're planning to celebrate, build your network and so on. Share it with someone who's planning to come to uh, study in Europe or in general planning to study abroad and subscribe to our channel for such amazing content. So until next time, see you. Dovidenia. Thank you so much for watching the video. Hope you liked it. Uh, please give it a thumbs up if you liked the video. Share it with your friends. Uh, and also subscribe to our channel for such interesting content. And let us know what type of topics would you like us to cover in the future videos. And which sort of career are you looking for to jump in Slovakia. Thank you so much. See you. Dovidenia.